Uh, good afternoon to all. Today I am going to talk about uh, postgraduate diploma in urban planning and development, PGDUPDL, and Master of Arts Development Studies, MADVS, and Master of Arts Philosophy, MAPY. Uh, prospectus of Order and Qualification in Philosophy, Development Study, and Urban Development and Planning. I am Dr. S. Vijay Raghun, Assistant Regional Director, IGNO Regional Center, Cochin. Uh, we can see that first, the postgraduate diploma in urban planning and development uh, studies. Next, you see the postgraduate diploma in urban planning and development (PGDU PDL). The objective of this program are to provide opportunities to the learners to deepen their knowledge and understanding about urban development and also to expand capacity of the working urban development, professional and various and theoretical and practical aspects of urban planning and development, and also to develop the professional knowledge and the skills in the formulation, implementation, monitoring, and evaluation of urban development of the uh, programs. Next. So you see that the eligibility for uh, getting the admission in this program, it is any, any graduate in any discipline. So medium of instruction, English and Hindi, duration minimum one year and maximum three years, offered in both January and July uh, admission cycle. So this is this program having a minimum one year and maximum three years. If you suppose the candidate unable to complete within the one year duration, they can be able to get the uh, they, they can be able to complete the program up to three years uh, time. So fee structure, you can see that that is a 6,000 for full program. Next, uh, we can see now career opportunity in this program. So here, after completion of the postgraduate diploma in urban planning and development, the candidate able to get the uh, career, their job in the field of historic building inspector, uh, conservation officer, and also housing manager uh, and officer field, then local government officer uh, in the field of town planning, then another thing in the field of transport planner. These are all the field they can be able to get the job after completion of this program. Next. So now we can see that Master of, Master of Arts in Development Studies, MADVS, is a master degree program. Uh, this program has been designed to impact quality education and training in the area of development studies. Uh, the program is mean for development professionals across the sectors and also first graduate interested in pursuing career and development professionals. The main objective of the program are to impact knowledge on various aspects of development studies, to train qualified human resources in the professional area of development studies, and also to develop professional skills in the formulation, implementation, uh, monitoring, and evaluation of the development project uh, and the programs. So these are all the uh, objective for this study. And now we can see that um, Eligibility. What is the eligibility criteria uh, to get the admission in the uh, program? Here, bachelor degree in any discipline from a recognized university. So, minimum uh, medium of instruction is English. Uh, duration minimum two years and maximum four years. Actually, uh, minimum two years duration the candidate able to complete this program, and the maximum flexibility we are giving four years. If suppose the minimum uh, duration they are unable to complete the uh, some courses, they can be able to complete uh, the program of the course up to maximum four years, offered in both January and July cycle of admission. The candidate can able to see our IGNO website uh, for online admission process. The fee structure, uh, full program fees, 11,400. Uh, first year rupees 5,700 and second year rupees 5,700. It's a split up. So the total program fee is 11,400 rupees for getting admission in IGNO of this particular program. 
next uh, we can see that uh, career opportunity what are all the job opportunities available uh, after completion of this program you can see the consulting firms the candidate able to get the job in the consulting firms ngo and trust uh, any non governmental organization and trust they can able to get the job and media houses uh, whatever media whether it is electronic media uh, and paper medias or whatever medias they can able to get the job after completion of this program and government organization also they can able to get it after successfully completion of this program and academic and research field the candidate able to get the job in colleges and universities uh, uh, and research field after completion of this uh, program this is a career opportunity after completion of uh, this program next we can see about most of arts in philosophy this is a next to program this is a most master degree program ma py we can uh, tell that code word is a ma py it's a master of arts in philosophy so we can see about this program the master of uh, most this is a master degree program in philosophy a distance learning mode is intended not only to engage career prospects for student but also to train the mind for better logical thinking and mental discipline ability for analysis and synthesis critical reflection on social and political realities this is a philosophy the candidate able to uh, develop their thinking capabilities and the critical reflection and decision making so these are all the things this program will very useful the learner uh, become a expert after completion of this program so here this philosophy broadens people vision towards national integration uh, uh, this program is uh, insight it is giving the uh, good uh, broad and the mind will be broadened the people uh, vision and also genuine appreciation of others worldwide better understanding of various thought patterns and peaceful coexistence next uh you see that this course is uh, provided not just to engage career for college student but additionally coach their brain for better logical thinking and mental discipline and the ability for analyze and synthesize the critical reflection which i have already told that so these are all the uh, useful after studying this program the candidate is able to develop the uh, thinking capabilities the program give you a knowledge of social transformation to construct much better nation or country uh, equality human self respect and human rights for the people of the nation next so now we can see that eligibility criteria for getting the admission in the uh, program so here you see bachelor degree or equivalent so bachelor degree candidate they can able to get it uh, the program of uh, master degree and then medium of instruction english this is english only we are providing at duration minimum 2 years and maximum 4 years offered in both january uh, and july cycle of admissions you see the fee structure of the program it is 13200 for full program to be paid year wise 6600 per year next so if we see uh, about the career opportunity so after completion of the program the candidate able to get the job in as a counselor or mediator the journalism uh, field and also writing field academic and research field so suppose the candidate able to get the job in the colleges and the universities and research field uh, these are all the field opportunities available after completion of this program advertising and marketing field also the candidate able to get the job and human resource field hr field also they can able to get the job opportunity next or uh, here uh, what are the evalu uh, evaluation status uh, uh, what basis we are evaluating the student one is internal assessment the internal assessment uh, by using the assignment the candidate able to submit the assignment per course one assignments so before writing the examination that assignment needed to be submitted in the lsc now due to the corona pandemic situation we have already provided a link in the 
uh, igno rc kochi website the candidate able to submit the assignment for the program uh, through the uh, soft copy soft copy would hand written assignment uh, to be scanned eh, and it will be uploaded in the uh, portal so that will be evaluated by the our approved academic counselor uh, this is a internal assessment pattern and the external assessment pattern is it uh, by using the 10 month examination we are evaluating that's a external so internal 30 percentage of weightage and external is 70 percentage of weightage here the external assessment this is a 10 month examination we are conducting annually june and uh, december two time every year we are conducting june and uh, december month the 10 month examination is being conducted due to the corona situation uh, it, it is shifted to uh, some uh, extended to some other months but however we are conducting the june and december month every year the attendment examination next so you see uh, now the admission for this program i requested the student to visit our igno website the igno website we are having uh, online admission portal through that online por portal the candidate is able to submit their application from their home itself so automatically if they have the eligibility they have uploaded all the credential uh, such as eligibility certificate and all the things uh, we will confirm the admission and we will intimate to through them uh, to to the to the email they will get it and also is a online portal the candidate can able to have the uh, login id and the password so Uh, it is admission getting the admission is very easy uh, they can see our igno website and uh, they can go for admission even that scsc candidate uh, uh, giving many uh, certificate and diploma program is a fee exempted there is no fee so directly they can submit all the uh, eligibility credential and they will get the admission in any uh, any listed program which already we have given the listed the igno website in that program they can be able to get the admission and uh, igno is a, a central university uh, our degree diploma certificate all the things is recognized by the all the council it has been recognized by the ugc it, it will it has been recognized by distant education council and aicte so so there is no uh, problem and no uh, fear for the student for getting the admission in the igno and they will get the job anywhere if they have the competence for uh, uh, the particular subject so that is a thing um uh, and uh, uh, convocation also we are conducting after completion of the program in regional level we are conducting convocation the candidate is uh, uh, interested to get the degree from the uh, uh, ceremony convocation ceremony they can have a option either they can in uh, presencia or absentia presencia mean they can able to get it in uh, convocation ceremony itself absentia they can, it is a option Uh, they can get it the degree certificate after the completion of the program to their uh, registered address so these are all the, it is a, a flexibility you know having the flexibility in age and also a uh, duration also we are having the flexibility uh, so the candidate medium also most of the program we are having english and hindi so uh, whatever the candidate able to uh, give their option either english or hindi they can able to get the admission in it you now Uh, thank you very much thank you